Halifan is a general anesthetic that is inhaled. Its IUPAC name is 2-bromo-2-chloro-1-1-1 trifluoroethane. It is the only inhalational anesthetic containing bromine. It is colorless and pleasant smelling, but unstable in light. It is packaged in dark colored bottles and contains 0.01% thymol as a stabilizing agent. It is on the WHO model list of essential medicines, the most important medications needed in a basic health system. Its use in developed countries has been mostly superseded by new agents such as sevoflurane, isoflurane, and desflurane. As of 2014 it cost about 22 US dollars to 52 US dollars for a 250 milliliters bottle. Medical uses it is a potent anesthetic with a MAC of 0.74%. Its blood gas partition coefficient of 2.4 makes it an agent with moderate induction and recovery time. It is not a good analgesic and its muscle relaxation effect is moderate. Side effects, in rare cases, repeated exposure to halifan in adults was noted to result in severe liver injury. This occurred in about 1 in 10,000 exposures. The resulting syndrome was referred to as halifan hepatitis, and is thought to result from the metabolism of halifan to trifluoroacetic acid by oxidative reactions in the liver. About 20% of inhaled halifan is metabolized by the liver and these products are excreted in the urine. The hepatitis syndrome had a mortality rate of 30% to 70%. Concern for hepatitis resulted in a dramatic reduction in the use of halifan for adults and it was replaced in the 1980s by enflurane and isoflurane. By 2005, the most common volatile anesthetics used were isoflurane, sevoflurane, and desflurane. Since the risk of halifan hepatitis in children was substantially lower than in adults, Halifan continued to be used in pediatrics in the 1990s as it was especially useful for inhalation induction of anesthesia. However, by 2000, sevoflurane, excellent for inhalation induction, had largely replaced the use of halifan in children. Halifan sensitizes the heart to catecholamines, so it is liable to cause cardiac arrhythmias, occasionally fatal, particularly if hypercapnia has been allowed to develop. This seems to be especially problematic in dental anesthesia. Like all the potent inhalational anesthetic agents, it is a potent trigger for malignant hypothermia. Similarly, in common with the other potent inhalational agents, it relaxes uterine smooth muscle and this may increase blood loss during delivery or termination of pregnancy. Equals occupational safety equals People can be exposed to halifan in the workplace by breathing it in as waste anesthetic gas, skin contact, eye contact, or swallowing it. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit of 2 ppm over 60 minutes. Pharmacology, halifan activates GABAA and glycine receptors. It also acts as an NMDA receptor antagonist inhibits NACH and voltage-gated sodium channels, and activates 5-HT3 and twin poor k channels. It does not affect the AMPA or K-NATE receptors. Chemical and physical properties, chemically, halifan is an halide. The structure has one stereocenter, so and optical isomers occur. Synthesis, the commercial synthesis of halifan starts from trichloroethylene which is reacted with hydrogen fluoride in the presence of antimony trichloride at 130 degree Celsius to form 2 chloro 1, 1, 1 trifluoroethane. This is then reacted with bromine at 450 degree Celsius to produce halifan. Related substances, attempts to find anesthetics with less metabolism led to halogenated ethers such as enflurane and isoflurane. The incidence of hepatic reactions with these agents is lower. The exact degree of hepatotoxic potential of enflurane is debated, although it is minimally metabolized. Isoflurane is essentially not metabolized and reports of associated liver injury are quite rare. Small amounts of trifluoroacetic acid can be formed from both halifan and isoflurane metabolism and possibly accounts for cross-sensitization of patients between these agents. The main advantage of the more modern agents is lower blood solubility resulting in faster induction of and recovery from anesthesia. History, 
Halothan was first synthesized by C. W. Suckling of Imperial Chemical Industries in 1951 in Widnes and was first used clinically by M. Johnston in Manchester in 1956. It became popular as a non-flammable general anesthetic replacing other volatile anesthetics such as trichloroethylene, diethyl ether and cyclopropane. In many parts of the world it has been largely replaced by newer agents since the 1980s but is still widely used in developing countries and in veterinary surgery because of its lower cost. Halothan was given to many millions of adult and pediatric patients worldwide from its introduction in 1956 through the 1980s. Its properties include cardiac depression at high levels, cardiac sensitization to catecholamines such as norepinephrine, and potent bronchial relaxation. Its lack of airway irritation made it a common inhalation induction agent in pediatric anesthesia. Due to its cardiac depressive effect, it was contraindicated in patients with cardiac failure. Halothan was also contraindicated in patients susceptible to cardiac arrhythmias, or in situations related to high catecholamine levels such as pheotromocytoma. Availability It is available as a volatile liquid, at 30, 50, 200 and 250 milliliters per container but in many first world nations is not available having been displaced by newer agents. References Further reading, Atkinson, Rushman, Lee. A Synopsis of Anesthesia. 1987 Edger, Eisencraft, Wieskopf. The Pharmacology of Inhaled Anesthetics. 2003.